Hello, we're back. MTP number 23. Um, today's question comes from, hold on a second, I'm not very good with this new phone, from William or Bill, won't you use your last name. Uh, he says, how long does the surgery last? Do they place you under? And can you do this procedure on a patient with two open heart surgeries. So uh, there's a combination of questions there. Um, but basically, when you look at penile implants, uh, about 70% of penile implants are done by guys that only do four to six a year. Um, the other 30% are done by what we like to describe as more serious implanters. Um, if you're looking at times, times vary from 10 minutes to two hours, two and a half hours. Um, you, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for a dedicated surgeon and a de dedicated team because uh, yeah, one of my good friends, Gerard Henry, has written a paper about uh, the, the uh, diminished complication rate in patients uh, who are done by a dedicated team and dedicated surgeon. So if you find a dedicated team and de dedicated surgeon, you should have operative time somewhere between, say, 20 and 45 minutes, uh, and they're not rushing, they just, they're used to it. They've done enough of them to, uh, to know what they're doing. As, as my dad has always taught me, if you want something done, go to the guy or girl who does the most. Uh, so when it comes to your implant, you gotta find that team. Now, do they put you under? And everybody has their own uh, ways of, of looking at this. I personally don't like general anesthetic for my older patients. And I really don't like it for my younger patients either. Uh, we tend to stick with uh, a very short spinal or a IV sedation with local uh, installation of an anesthesia. Um, these, with these combinations, we've done over 8,000 and we've never had an anesthetic complication uh, beyond, say, a spinal headache for a, 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 a spinal anesthetic. Uh, so you should be able to have any of the three available, but it seems like you're alluding to the fact that you would prefer to not have a general anesthetic. So uh, in the hands of a dedicated team and dedicated surgeon, you should be able to get pretty much whatever you want. And finally, uh, can you have a history of uh, two previous uh, um, bypass procedures? Uh, of course, uh, <laughs> a significant number of our patients have had bypass surgery. Uh, the, the one thing that you do look at is, you know, the anesthetic complications. Let's go back to what I just said. If you if can stay away from uh, general, uh, that pretty much wipes those out. So um, I hope that answered your question. Once again, find a dedicated team, dedicated surgeon, and then uh, ask them, you know, what's the safest uh, way of approaching this? Consult your cardiologist, and uh, he or she may be able to help you uh, with uh, further decision-making process with your urologist. Uh, another great question. Keep bringing them in, everybody, and uh, we'll see you on the next Meet the Penis.